How to set up your Garmin Forerunner 55. Welcome to another Smartwatch Tips Garmin tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Forerunner 55. So if you just bought a Forerunner 55 or someone gave you one, by the end of this video, you'll have it connected to your phone and you'll be able to start using it. So before we turn on the watch, I just want to show you how to connect the actual charging cable here. You just want to plug it into the back, push until it clicks in, and then it should stay in, where then you can plug the other side into a charger or something like that, power bank. Your watch should come with a little bit of charge in it, so we can turn it on very easily by just holding down the light button up here in the top left, just for a second or two, and you'll see the little Garmin emblem there. And while this is turning on, go ahead and get your phone, and what we wanna do, open up your respective app store and download and install the Garmin Connect app. Now check the description, I'll have direct links to it for Apple users as well as Android users, so you can just click that and open it up. Once you get that installed, go ahead and open up the app, and then we can go back to our watch. And the first thing we need to do is just select our desired language for all the menus and everything on the watch. So you can use the up and down button right here to navigate through the different available languages. Once you find your language, use the start or stop button to choose it. And then we're gonna be pairing with our phones. You can download an app on your computer and pair it with that, but your data will not be updated that often. So I do recommend pairing it with your phone and that's what we're gonna do in this video. So when it says pair phone, select yes. Now our watch is in pairing mode, so we can put that to the side. Go ahead and open up the Garmin Connect app. The first time you open it, it should ask you to log in or create an account, go through that process, and then it should be able to find this watch automatically simply because it's in pairing mode. So you'll see it come up on the screen. Go ahead and pair with that watch. But if it doesn't, all you need to do is go down to the bottom, select more, and then scroll down, select Garmin devices, and then at the bottom you can select add device. So now it's gonna look for the Forerunner 55, and as you can see, it found it. So we just select connect it, and then you'll see a code displayed on your Forerunner 55. Go ahead and type that in, and then select pair. So give it a second to actually pair with your watch real quick. If you get any questions about allowing notifications from your phone onto your watch. I recommend allowing those. It really includes, that really increases the functionality of your watch. So I'm gonna allow notifications. And then if you have multiple Garmin watches, you can have your new Forerunner 55 be your preferred activity tracker by selecting replace. So I'm gonna do that as well. So now it'll perform a setup and sync with your actual watch. This might take a minute or two. During this period, just keep your phone and your watch pretty close to each other. All right, so once you see the check mark on your phone and you see a watch face on your watch, you're good to go, you can hit next. Now we can go through some different steps on our phone to ensure that our watch is set up the way we need it to be. So first you configure your sleep time and this helps the watch not only track your sleep and know when you're sleeping, but it also will disable notifications so that the watch doesn't wake you up if you get a text message or something. So configure your time up here and then if you don't wanna receive notifications while you're sleeping, select no and then next. After that, we can use true up, and this is if you have multiple Garmin watches. If you select yes, it'll just allow the data to sync between them. So we're gonna select next. Now we're set up, and it's just gonna do the final sync with the watch, and we can select finished. Finally, there, they have some tutorials on here, different guides so you can learn more about your Forerunner 55. But if you'd like to watch more videos like this that go into different features on the actual watch, check the description because I'll have several of those showing you how to use and set up different really cool things on this watch to customize it and use it to its fullest potential. All right, so that's how you set up a Garmin Forerunner 55. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin or smartwatch tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Smartwatch Tips, for more smartwatch tutorials and reviews. Thank you so much for watching.